Hi friends, this is Arujan here. Welcome to my networking channel. Hope all are doing good and safe. And today I am going to discuss how to troubleshoot the APIPA issue. So what is APIPA? APIPA is an automatic private IP addressing. So whenever the DHCP server is not available, what happens? The client will automatically configure its own address in the range of 169.254.x.x. So that means it will assign the IP address in 169.254 and it will assign the subnet mask as slash 16 that is 255.255.0.0 and the gateway address it will set it as 0.0.0.0. So now today let us discuss the scenario in what are the situation in which the client will get the auto private IP addressing that is the automatic private IP addressing what we called as a APIPA. So this is the Kayo configure this course which has a DHCP server and these are the clients connected to the DHCP server. So now let us see what are the situation the client will not get the IP address from the DHCP server. Let us uh, now go to the core switch. So go here. So I configured the DHCP pool right. I have configured VLAN 10 and I configured the DHCP pool. Let us check the pool of IP address. Show IP DHCP pool. So this is the pool I configured. The pool is pool 1. And within this pool one, the IP address range is 10.1 to 10.254, right? These are the 254 range we can assign. And let us see what are the situation the client will not get the IP address. So let us go to the first client. So now let us debug the first client. So go to the IP configuration. It is not getting the IP address. It is getting the APIPA IP. That is a automatic private IP addressing in the range of 169.254. And the subnet mask will set it as slash 16. That is 255. 255.0.0 and the gateway address it will set it as 0.0.0. So let us see why it is not getting the IP address. Let us go to the core switch and let us check the interface status. Show interface status will show the detailed summary of interfaces, right? And its status, connected status. So the first this is the first kind of showing us connected and the VLAN configured is 2. So the VLAN is it is in the wrong VLAN. So that also one other reason. So if the client is configured in the wrong VLAN, what happened? It will not get the IP address. So in such scenario also, it will auto configure its IP address to 169.254 range, right? So now let us reconfigure. Go to configuration mode, interface, faster than a 0 by 1. So there is no switch port access VLAN 2, right? So we have to configure as switch port access VLAN 10. I have configured VLAN 10 and I assign the pool in, the, in that range, VLAN 10 range. So now let us check it. So go to switch again. Let us check the status. Show interface status. So these are the troubleshooting commands you have to remember. Show interface status will show this. So the first port is connected. It is showing the VLAN 10, right? So now let us check the IP range. So previously it was getting APIPA IP. So now let us change it to static and again DHCP will request the IP address. So let us see where it is getting the IP address from the DHCP server, right? Yeah, so now it got the IP 192.168.10.254, we got the IP address, right, from the DHCP server. So the pool of range is 1 to 254, right, so it got the 254 last IP. So now let us check the second client, why the second client is not getting the address, let us see. It is also getting the APIPA IP. So what might be the reason, I told that also, that may be also the port security issue. So now let us go to the, again to the switch and let us check the interface status. Show interface status. So what is the thing? Let us see. Second port, right? So second port you are able to see it is in error disable mode because of the violation of the MAC address. There is a MAC address violation. So because of the port security issues, this enter into a shutdown and error disable mode. So in such scenario, what we can do? We can just remove that MAC address. So let us go to the show run configuration. See the second port is configured with the incorrect MAC address. So better we have to remove the MAC address and we can do a shut and no shut. So interface faster than a 0 by 2 and now let us remove the MAC address, right? So no switch port, port security. So no switch port, port security and the MAC address is followed by the MAC address 111.111. This is the invalid MAC address and do a shut and no shut. Show run. So the second port we have cleared it right. So now let us check. See now it came up. So now let us check the DHCP configuration. So it also got the IP address as 251 right. So 250 it got the IP address. So the second port we have cleared and the third port let us see check. So third port already got the IP address. So there is no issue. Let us check the fourth client. It is also getting the IP address. So this uh, the purpose of this video to bring you what are the situation the client will not get the IP address from the DHCP server. 
So the first situation is either the DHCP pool might be depleted and there is no IP address in the DHCP pool. In such scenario also the client will not get the IP address from the pool, right? So that is also one of the reason. And the second thing, it might be a physical cabling issue. If there is any LAN cabling issues also, the client will not get the IP address. In such scenario, it will auto configure its IP address to a APIPO IP. And the third scenario is, if it is a port security issue, right? If it is in the port is in error disable mode, in such scenario, the client will auto configure its IP address to a APIPO IP. And the fourth situation I already told is, uh, all the entire IP address, mistakenly they configure in the DHCP exclusion list. In such scenario also, the client will not get the IP address. So these are the ways the client will auto configure its IP address to a APIPO IP. So this is the way we can troubleshoot and we can debug the APIPO issue. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos. Thank you and have a wonderful day.